Hi everyone, today I would like to show you how I created all damaged parquet material in Substance Designer. I split the tutorial into two parts. In the first part I was showing you how to make a damaged wood texture and herringbone pattern for wood planks. Today in the second part of the tutorial we will make roughness, base color, normal and ambient occlusion maps and finish our material. Also, there is a more advanced version of this parquet, where you can control the amount of dirt, damage, location of damage planks, color, height and much more. You can download the fully completed material from my Gumroad page. Link is in description down below. First of all, I would like to add some additional noise to the planks. I'll grab an isotropic noise, add a little bit of blur and blend it with Crystal 2 node. Let's find the planks with chipped edges that we made before and over top I'm going to add a levels node. The next step is to use a slow blur to add a bit of variety to edges. Our planks pattern consists of vertical and horizontal planks, that's why we need two variations of the noise texture. The first one that we already made is directed vertically and the second one should be directed horizontally. Let's use a transformation node and rotate the noise. Let's duplicate slow blur and plug our horizontal noise into it. Now we have to mask unnecessary parts from both slope nodes. I'm going to find the weave generator node that we used to create the planks. It has mask 1 output that we will use to remove horizontal planks and mask 2 to remove vertical planks. Finally, let's blend the vertical and horizontal textures. Now I would like to work a bit more on our normal map. Before we used a normal node for that, but now I decided to use the normal sobel instead, because it adds the blurry effect that I really like. The next thing I'm going to do is to find our wood planks and drag it into the height output. To be able to see height in 3D view, go to the Materials menu under 3D view tab. Find Physically Metallic Roughness default, click on Tessellation and increase the Scale and Tessellation Factor parameters under the Height submenu. I would like to make normal less intense and decided to use a Levels node for that. Next, I'll create an ambient occlusion map. Now I'm going to make a base color map. 
I found some examples of wood planks that I like, and I'll use them as a color palette for my material. Find the wood texture with knots that we made before and drag it to a gradient map node. Go to the gradient editor and pick colors from the image to create a gradient. Let's find the cracks, drag its output to a new gradient map and pick a gradient again. Then blend these two color maps. Now we have to offset the texture using the directional warp node and create its horizontal and vertical versions. We already did it several times, so I won't explain in detail the process, because it's the same as before. Drag the final blend to the base color output node to be able to see the result in 3D view. Next, I would like to add more color variations. The main idea is to use a gradient node or a uniform color node to pick colors, different masks to select the area that you want to apply the color to, and a blend node to blend colors and masks together. For example, I would like to make the noise on edges lighter than the overall palette of the planks. I'll grab the noise and use it as a mask. I'll grab a uniform color node that will be the color of our edge noise. And finally, I'll use a blend node to combine the edge noise color with the main color map that we already made.
Next, I'm going to make the gaps between planks dark color. Now let's come back to the directional work notes and change something there. There is a mismatch between cracks on the color map and on the normal map. To fix this, we need to use the directional work notes that we used to create the normal map. So duplicate them and place them instead the directional work notes that we currently use. So that's it, our base color map is done. The last map that we are going to do is roughness map. Let's grab a Grange map 1 node, adjust its values with the levels node and blend it with our per key texture. This is our base roughness map. I will use a bunch of blends, masks and uniform color nodes to layer up more and more details on top of our base grunge.
please let me know if you have any questions in comments down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button. I'll be posting more tutorials on material creation, so make sure to subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss them. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.